I'm doing my book review in my room tonight because everybody's asleep and I'm talking funny for some reason. <laughs> So I just finished reading I Heart London by Lindsay Kelk, and it was pretty good. I think I'm going to give it three and a half stars. I Heart London is about a girl who lives in New York, but she's British and she used to live in England, obviously, and she is engaged to this awesome guy and she has an awesome job and is maybe going to like land her own magazine and it's all very exciting things happening in her life. And then her mother calls and is all like, you need to come to England for my birthday. And so her and her fiance and her best friend end up all going to England. And then randomly when they're there, her mother is like, you should get married here in a week. And they're like, what? And then so the book is all about them in England, having to deal with her family, who she hasn't seen for two years and doesn't particularly like, and trying to plan this wedding in six days, and it's just all hectic and a lot of fun, really. It was just, it was a fun, cute book. It kind of reminded me of a Sophie Kinsella book, except not as funny. So the only thing about this book is I noticed in the front here that it says by the same author. Um, I Heart New York, I Heart Hollywood, I Heart Paris, I Heart Vegas. And I thought they were just, you know, all books that were similar, or like companion books or something, because it doesn't say that it's an I Heart novel or something. It doesn't say it's part of a series, it just says it's a novel. Um, and it doesn't say anything on the back about it being a continuation of a story or anything. But there were a few parts in it where they were talking about things that happened before but didn't explain it. Like she kept talking about her friend's wedding and how it was a disaster and we don't want to repeat that again and you all know what happened there. But no, I don't know what happened there. Please tell me. And then they said something about Vegas. And they're like, oh, we don't want to repeat Vegas. And I was like, what happened in Vegas? And then it was like, oh yeah, like remember when that happened in Paris? And I was like, what happened in Paris? <laughs> so I think it's a series, and this is the last book in the series. <laughs> but whatever. Besides all of their random little mentions of all the other books, I wasn't lost. I was just a little annoying, because they were like, oh yeah, that time in that other book that you haven't read that I'm not going to explain. Which, why would you explain it if it's part of a series? You should have read the other ones first, but it doesn't say anywhere on this that I need to read any other ones and what order they need to be read in, so you should do that, books that are part of a series. Tell me which one it is so I can be prepared. Um, the writing style was fine, it wasn't like anything really spectacular, but it didn't bug me or anything, I enjoyed it. And uh, I liked the characters, uh, and I really liked Alex. The only thing that I didn't like about him was he just, he didn't see... He seemed like really incredibly understanding about everything all the time, which I found to be a little um, unrealistic. Like, I don't know, he just seemed okay with everything all the time, and just whenever they were like, when things were bothering her, just the way that he talked to her about it and the way he asked her and the words that he used about it, I just felt like it was very not real. <laughs> I mean, maybe there are guys like that, that would be awesome. He was. He was perfect. He was perfect in every single way. And if he got mad, he'd get mad for like two seconds, and then he'd be like, well, whatever. I'm over it, because I love you. <laughs> but other than that, I really did enjoy his character. He was super sweet. Um, he just seemed a little too sweet sometimes for me. Um, and the other thing that bugged me was she kept talking about how they didn't have salt and vinegar chips in the States. Which I feel like that's a lie, or she did her research wrong. Like, I don't live in the States, but I'm sorry. Salt and vinegar chips, that's a very, very common flavor, is it not? Like, salt and vinegar, that's so, like, nothing special. And then I asked Amber, too, and she said that they had salt and vinegar chips. Other Americans, tell me, down there, do you have salt and vinegar chips? <laughs> you should, I feel like. If you don't, that's strange. It was a fun book, it was a cute story, um, and I didn't think the first half was funny at all. Like, nothing funny happened. It was still enjoyable. But the second half, I did laugh out loud quite a bit. I did, yeah, it was pretty funny, and I had to keep telling my boyfriend about the things that are funny, and I even boxed Amber one of the paragraphs. I was like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. <laughs> so it was definitely a fun read. Um, if you like Sophie Kinsella, I think you would like uh, probably any of these books. I've obviously only read this one, but the other ones are probably basically the same. 
So if you like Sophie Kinsella, you should read Lindsay Kelk and give her a go. Um, she's British too, I think. But it was just a cute story that gave me some laughs, and yeah. So yeah, three and a half stars. There you go.